Okay, cool. All right, so I'm doing a YouTube live stream for the first time right now. Um, pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. I wanted to just, uh, okay, so this live stream is going to be a, um, <clears throat> just me learning more about Amazon PPC software. I currently have an Amazon PPC software called PPC Agility. Um, but I want to learn more about um, how it's built and how to build it myself. So this live stream is going to be, you know, it's going to be kind of boring because it's just, you know, the name of this is building Amazon PPC software, Amazon advertising uh, API documentation. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen and for the next 16 minutes and 47 seconds, I'm just going to be sitting here. So I'll share my screen, show you the documentation and just be reading through it. And I'll just share my thoughts. I'm going to be going from the beginning to the end. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. Let me share my screen really quick. Um, let's just go to um, entire screen. There we go. Oh, oh wow. Here we go. Um, all right. Should be able to. Pretty sure you guys are able to see my screen. Yeah, it's kind of weird the way that this thing works, but we'll see how it plays out. It's my first time doing it. So if I make some mistakes, I'm okay with that. All right, so let me hop on in. So let's start from the beginning. So what I'm doing is I'm just gonna go through, you know, the onboarding overview. I already have access to the Amazon Ads API. I've had access for five years. We already have our tokens and everything, but I want to review this just to, to preview it everything. All right, so let's do it. So Amazon adds API onboarding overview. The Amazon enables you to manage advertising resources using a REST API, okay? To use the Amazons, you must apply for access and be approved. Now, all approved clients can establish. All right, cool. Assign API access. Cool. All right, let's go here. Just to create a login with Amazon client application, which would be labor used to make requests via the API. Once you have been approved to access the API, you will assign your access. Okay. Register with Amazon Developer. You must register as a developer at on developer.amazon.com. So you have to create a login with Amazon, register as a developer, sign in. At this stage, use an email address that is managed by multiple individuals. Create a new LWA security profile. Gotcha. So we've already done this. Retrieve your security credentials. After creating your profile, you're redirected to the login with Amazon page. This page includes a table that lists your security profile name, OAuth2 credentials, and click show client ID and client secret. So that's going to be, um, those are going to be our keys. I already have those, the keys that we use to access the API. Note these values as they are essential credentials for accessing the Amazons. The client, oh, here we go. This is, this is really good. So the client ID is passed in all requests to the API. And both the client ID and the client secret are used to generate access tokens for the API. These values can be retrieved from this panel at ABDTM. So we need a client ID is passed in all requests to the API. I have a client ID already, but that, that's why I'm reading this documentation so I can understand it a little more myself. The client secret, both the client secret are used to generate access tokens. 
So used to generate for the API. Okay, cool. So we've got a client ID. So we've got two credentials that we need for the API. Um, the client ID and the client secret. All right, I already have those. Perfect. Can I use more than one client ID with the API? No. One client ID per company. There is no need for multiple. Gotcha. All right, apply for API access. Let's see if there's anything in here that I want to learn. Now that you have, how you apply will depend on your upon your company intends to use the API first. Okay, so how we use the API. Okay. Gotcha. Once registered, select advertising API from the menu, manage access. Next from the API tab, click the request. Gotcha. So you've got to get a client ID and a client secret, and then you've got to apply for access. Gotcha. As a direct advertiser. So you can apply as a partner or a direct advertiser. You should receive an email at the address. Review of your application may, once you're, you will receive two emails, technical support, you will receive an invitation from JIRA. So just a heads up, um, you know, when you're working with the Amazon Advertising API, they give you access to their, their um, technical support, which is JIRA. That's what they use for technical support. And um, we have access already. We've had access for years. So I can go in and submit tickets to get help. Um, cool. That's good to know. If your application has been read about the next best assign you, okay. Please read. Okay, cool. Assign API access to a login with Amazon application. Click the link, uh, this email to open a web page where you can assign API access to the login. Select your <clears throat> once you've clicked the submit button, you will see a confirmation page. Okay, here we go. Showing your LWA's client ID along with the scopes that your application can now use to request permission. So we've got, so, okay, so we've got some advertising, colon, colon, campaign management, the required scope for most requests to the Amazon Ads API. So the required scope, okay, so this is what is required right here. So this is the scope that's required for most requests to the Amazon's Ads API. Advertising, colon, colon, campaign underscore management. Advertising colon colon test create account. So this is how I can create a test account, which is pretty cool. Cool. Perfect. Data provider API. Additional setup steps for the data provider API. The document, this document. Verify that you've completed all the account steps. See if anybody's got any questions or anything. Nothing in the chat. All right, cool. All right. You are invited via email to use JIRA technical support. You must have followed the steps in the and created a JIRA account before you can su submit an onboarding request in JIRA to gain access to the data provider API. Submit a support ticket via JIRA 
DP data provider. Select forward slash DP data provider as the symptom path. Huh. Integrators. Before you begin billing account is associated billing report setup now that you have onboarded the data provider you can make api calls calls okay oh interesting dsp api gotcha we don't really do DSP, so gotcha. I'm not really going to worry about this. We don't really do DSP, to be honest. Plus, you know, the thing is, Amazon is rolling out so many features. Um, uh, Amazon is just rolling out so many features for sponsored display that, you know, there's going to be a point where I think DSP will be all user user generated or um, sponsored display will have all of the DSP, you know, you, uh, abilities. So people won't need DSP in the future. That's what I think, but could be wrong, could be right. All right, get started. Overview. The Amazons enables you to manage using a REST API. Three credentials are required to authorize most requested API. You need the client ID, the access token representing permission, the profile ID for the users. Um, I think I want to hang on to that. That's pretty good. The profile ID for the user's advertising account in a specific. Login credentials for an Amazon user account that manages Amazon's accounts. Learn about test accounts. Requests to the Amazon Ads APR are made by a client application on behalf of a user account with access to Amazon Ads accounts. A user account must grant explicit authorization to account. For conceptual information about this, you may wish to read the following. Okay, concepts. Retrieving credentials to access data. Okay. Create to your LWA client. Redeem the authorization grant for new access tokens. The access token, if you're ready to begin calling Amazon Ads P. Okay, so get started. If you're ready, follow one of these two pathways. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to hang on to this stuff. This is good documentation. Three your key right here. So to begin, see create an authorization grant, which is right here. So that's what we're going to do. Create an authorization grant, step one. As described in the getting started, an approved client application may make calls to the Amazon Ads API on behalf of an Amazon user account with assets. Gotcha. So my, so my client application is approved, right? So this is what in my head conceptually how it works. My client application is approved to make calls to the Amazon on behalf of a user account. So I'm currently approved to make calls from the API on behalf of like someone's PPC account. So let's say I'm working with an Amazon seller, like 
And um, they're like, hey, I want you to manage my ads with the API. Well, I've, I've been approved to be able to do that on behalf. Gotcha. The relationship between client and user account is administered by the LWA. The user account must explicitly grant authorization to the client application through LWA's authorization code grant process to generate an authorized code to learn more about it. Okay. I'm sure I'm going to learn more about that down the road here. There's a lot of documentation I'll be going through. And I don't want to jump around too much. I kind of just want to go the way that they, they say, you know, postman collection. I don't even know what that is. Simplified approach. No, let's just stick to this path here. There are two scenarios for requesting and granting authorization to access the advertising data. We are a partner. We are not a direct advertiser. Create an authorization URL. Allow a return URL. Determine the URL. Determine the values. We've already got all of this stuff. Any URL. Here. Any URL allowed. After an advertiser grants authorization to your LW, the advertiser will be redirected. Hmm. Cool. Determine the URL prefix for your region, North America. Okay. Determine the values for the required query parameters. Okay. Now I know this. All right. Determine the values for the required query. The authorization URL has, has the following query parameters. Oh, we're done. <laughs> I set like a timer. Um, we're done. So I'm going to, uh, let's see, we need to start at create, determine the value. So I'm going to start here in the future. Let me stop this really quick. See if anybody, let me go, let me go to hide. Oh, cool. Two people liked it. Um, I appreciate that. It's better than zero people liking it, right? <laughs> Even if it's zero, I'm not going to worry about it too much. All right. Um, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this live stream. I know it wasn't like a lot, but I just did it. And maybe I'll do it in the future. We'll see. Also, if you guys are interested, um, we do have our, uh, let me go here. I'll just do the entire screen share. We do have our um, Amazon PPC software right here. Focus is really, I would say the big three features are bid optimizations for, uh, so bid optimizations, we have a day parting feature and a portfolio update feature. So if that's something you're interested in, you can sign up now. It's um, 30 bucks per month per user account. Sharing. All right, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the stream. You guys have a great week. And um, until next time.